Hi there, Save with Crypto here. Okay, so everything's pretty red today, isn't it? Bitcoin's gone down to, well, it went as low as 53,000 something. It's currently at about 55.2K. Uh, that's pretty rubbish. Um, Ethereum went below 3K and it's 2952 at the moment. Uh, I didn't think it would go down there. And I must admit, I had to come out of a long trade uh, with quite a substantial loss, which was a bit painful to be honest um so there's that i think i'm just going to stick to trading bitcoin from now on because i i every time i try and do an alt even ethereum i always kind of cock it up so i think i'm going to stick to bitcoin now that is just futures trading um, i will still spot trade here and there uh, as i see fit I'll probably change my mind as well. So <laughs> there you go. Okay, so today is Friday. So I'm going to do the usual Multiverse X stuff, um, which is taking the rewards from Hatton Protocol, Zoid Pay, and Multiverse X, X Exchange, uh, and then deciding what to do with them. So let's have a look at X Exchange first of all. Okay, so this is how things are looking at the moment. Uh, there is still a big chunk of Tadar. And then my wrapped ETH that I've been collecting over the weeks. Um, the Tadar is down loads in value. So I'm looking for that to go up quite a lot before I think about doing anything with that. So first of all, what I'll do is do the meta bonding. And I haven't done this for a while. You just get little bits of this stuff, really. So a little bit of UTK, not a lot. Okay, so that's that done. And the meta staking... I want to have a look what's available there. So that is the UTK, which is just $4 worth. Okay, well, that's about it for the X exchange. So let's have a look at Hatton Protocol. Now, I'm not expecting too much here because there's not much staked at the moment. Uh, in fact, that's $2, so it's less than the minimum. So I can't do that. Uh, Zoid Pay should be all right, though. So in the shopping pool is nine dollars worth, and then in the super farm should be a bit more. Yeah, fifty-one dollars eighty-eight. Okay, so the shopping pool's good, and so is the super farm. Great. So okay, so the liquid tokens were six three nine. Now for the past few weeks, I've been swapping into wrapped teeth, but um. I'm just running because I think UTK and Zoid pay down quite a lot at the moment. So I'm tempted to leave them as they are or even maybe swap the UTK because I believe that super app is kind of on its way. I mean, they were talking about a date of July the 23rd to July the 30th. Um, I mean, I hope they stick to that. I really do. If they don't, they're going to lose a lot of faith with the community, unfortunately. So let's hope they do. So, yeah, okay, so I've got $81 worth of Zoid Pay there. If we look at the price of Zoid Pay right now, you see it's at $0.01, cent and it was like 1.3 or so. So if I see it go back up here, I might swap it into Wrap Teeth. But literally, it's just a gamble with these ESDT things at the moment to see who's going to do what next. But I'm hopeful Zoid Pay will do what they say. Anyway, it's super late now on Friday night, so... It's time to do the uh, farming rewards. It's interesting, though. Um, the price of e-gold's gone up a little bit tonight. And, uh, you know, whereas this balance was like around about 20 grand um, a week or so ago, it's now 22.2, which is quite good, isn't it? So it kind of shows you the importance of the price of e-gold. So, you know, if e-gold does go up to like, say, 100 or so, this v figure here should be... Yeah, much nicer. Anyway, let's claim the rewards. So this is the one where there's lots of transactions assigned. This one gets me 45 bucks worth of XMEX. Um, another 484 of XMEX there. And then just little piddly bits of everything else. Uh, okay, we need to deal with that. So there's usually some e-gold that I can use. That, that'll do. So I'll unwrap that. Okay, it should be enough now. So if I go claim boosted rewards, continue. Okay, it's looking good. And that is, of course, the joy of eGold and Multiverse X is the actual transaction fees are absolutely tiny. Literally just a few cents to do lots of things.
Okay, that's all done. Then I need to update the energy. Uh, just check there's nothing useful I can do there. Not really. I've still got the wrap teeth and the tadar. Zoipe I'm going to hang on to for a little while. Yeah, so that can stay as it is for the time being. So if we look at the lock tokens, you can see this large amount unlocks on October 22nd, 2027. And this goes right up until these ones that unlock on May the 19th, 2028. Okay, so that last part of the video was from Friday. It's now sort of late Saturday night. Um, the price of Zoidpay went up quite a bit today. So I think what I might do is this Zoidpay here, I might swap that into wrap teeth like what the original plan was. So let's just do that now. So I'm going to go swap Zoidpay into wrap teeth. Ethereum is just about just over three thousand dollars at the moment. Um, you know, I think it's going to go up quite a lot very, very soon. Maybe even next week. Who knows? Okay. Okay, so that's doing that. So any other business? Well, not particularly. Maybe this Quowat and Cyber I should have swapped into Rap Teeth. Is there enough there? Yeah, looks like it. Let's try the Cyber as well. Okay, good. Now, the other thing that might be of interest is if the position and the energy had improved. Well, the answer to that is slightly. So the position didn't change, but the energy was 3.788 trillion. It's now 3.799 trillion. The amount it increases each week seems to be getting less and less. So I think I will get to the situation where the the positions might start falling if everybody else is like kind of locking their mechs up for four years. But I'm not going to relock my mechs because I don't think it's worth it. Okay, so if you've enjoyed the video, please do like the video. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you've got the notifications set on all. While you're down there, leave a nice comment. And above all, tell your friends.